Hey, hello, hello, my dear friends. How are you doing? The challenges that we're looking at, the challenges of modern schools and how we are navigating external factors that are affecting education. That's our topic for today. Greetings, friends, my fellow educators and change makers. Today, we're continuing our exploration of solutions to the systemic issues in education. As we delve into a critical discussion that shapes the very landscape of education. In today's video, we'll explore the challenges modern schools face but we'll also venture beyond the classroom walls to uncover external factors that can significantly impact the educational journey. I'm your host, and 10 years ago, I became a teacher. After a very difficult time, my mentor, knowing that before I went into education, I'd been a life success coach with Bob Proctor and I had run various businesses before getting into education, said, Yvonne, you struggle, so others will not. What are you going to do about it? And this was the start of a very long journey for me, which accumulated in the creation of East Spaces and the Teachers Concierge, where we make sure that teachers do not work evenings and weekends unless they choose to do so. Because you know what, my friends, burnout is a real threat. And that's why we are the teacher's champion. So today, get ready for an enlightening journey as we dissect the challenges that modern schools grapple with. Beyond that, we'll unveil the hidden obstacles that sometimes cast a shadow over the path to effective and holistic education. Today, we shall explore four huge challenges that we're grappling with in education. So stay tuned till the end, because we shall also be looking at some external factors. With my background being business, pestle is something that we always um, use in business. So you know what? I'd really like to hear your thoughts on these factors. And therefore, as we go through today's episode, please leave a comment. Let us know whether any of them are familiar to you. And also give us some suggestions of what you would like us to discuss on our channel. So the first challenge is one that I'm sure we've all dealt with, and that's technological integration and digital overhaul. The struggle to effectively integrate technology while avoiding overwhelming students is real. With the advancement of a technology, schools are under pressure to incorporate digital tools into their teaching methods. However, this integration often leads to digital overhaul, where students spend an excessive amount of time in front of their screens. This digital overhaul can result in information overload, leading to shorter attention spans among our students and decreased focus within our classrooms while we're interacting with our students. According to a study by the Common Sense Media, teens spend an average of seven hours hours and 22 minutes on screens daily. And this is excluding schoolwork. I know of a teacher called Sarah. She's a dedicated educator and she noticed her students' ability to concentrate was waning. They struggle to engage in deep discussions and complex problem solving of tasks due to their frequent exposure to digital distractions. The result of this was the richness of classroom interactions diminished, and this affected the depth of understanding and critical thinking among her students. In fact, this is one of the most common complaints of, it, of modern 
teaching. The second challenge we're going to look at is dealing with the diverse needs of students. Adapting to a wide range of learning styles, abilities, and backgrounds can be a challenge within the teaching profession. Schools are tasked with accommodating a diverse student population, each with their unique learning needs and preferences. This diversity includes students with various learning disabilities and cultural backgrounds, as well as social economic statuses. Now, this can be very challenging, especially when planning and marking work and meeting these diverse needs can therefore potentially lead to huge achievement gap and an equal access to educational resources amongst our learners. And this also leads to teachers feeling very guilty. The National Center for Education Statistics has reported that the achievement gap between students with disabilities and their peers remains very significant. During our research, Mark, a teacher, recognized that his classroom was a mosaic of learning styles. He strived to create a classroom environment that celebrated this diversity and he employed various teaching strategies to ensure every student could succeed. He tried his level best and the outcome was that students thrived in an inclusive setting, but this meant that the workload to Mark increased as he tailored lessons to individual needs, meaning he constantly worked long hours into the evenings and weekends. The third one is one we are all very familiar with, and it's standardized testing procedures. Balancing the importance of assessing and students' well-being can continue continuously challenge our teaching staff. Standardized testing has become a significant measure of educational success, but it often creates pressure on both educators and students to perform well. Students may feel compelled to teach to the test, prioritizing test preparation over a comprehensive learning experience. Experience. My apologies, I meant stuff. The impact of this is the pressure can narrow the curriculum and stifle, uh, stifle creativity as well as critical thinking skills amongst our students. The National Education Association states that high stakes testing leads to a decrease in student engagement and a focus on rote memorization rather than critical thinking and engaging with curious learning. I know of Emily, a bright student that found herself cramming for exams, robbing her of the joy of learning. The pressure to perform well on standardized tests overshadowed her curiosity and passion for exploration. And the outcome is that while Emily achieved high scores, she missed out on developing a deeper understanding of her subjects and the love of learning for learning sake. The fourth challenge that we must deal with is the mental health and well-being across the board within education. We need to recognize and address student mental health as well as staff mental health challenges. The education environment is not immune to the mental health crisis that is affecting society today. Students often face anxiety and depression, as well as societal pressures, and this will impact their ability to engage fully in their studies. And this happens as well with staff, and this impacts their ability to engage with their students. Poor mental health will result in impaired learning, reduced classroom participation, and hinders the overall well-being across the board.
the Center for Disease Control reports a rise in the prevalence of mental health disorders amongst children and adolescents in recent years. I know a story of Jake. He's a talented student, but he began missing classes due to overwhelming anxiety that he was dealing with. The pressure to excel academically coupled with personal challenges took a toll on his mental health. As a result, his academic performance suffered and he struggled to regain his confidence and motivation. And it was really sad to watch this unfold and not knowing where to turn. My dear friends, have you experienced any of these challenges? Please let us know your thoughts below as we look into some external factors that many schools are dealing with. And many of these are driven by the state of the world today, including issues such as globalization, political climate, and lots of parts of the world. In business, we usually refer to this as pestle factors. And we cannot leave this episode without looking at at least one or two external factors affecting our education system today. One huge factor is the social economic disparities within our society. External factors such as poverty can truly affect educational outcomes. For example, students from different socioeconomic backgrounds may face varying levels of access to various resources that are needed for modern day schooling. Those from low income families may lack access to technology, educational materials, and even sometimes adequate nutritional needs. The impact of this is that it leads to huge achievement gaps, limiting the opportunities for those with fewer resources to excel academically. In fact, the statistics around the Cent National Center for Education statistics highlights a direct correlation between socioeconomic status and student performance. One of the things that we're thriving within our company is being society's law school meals program. Now, let me tell you the story of Lily, a student from a low background that faced challenges accessing online resources for homework due to a lack of a computer at home. What happened was Lily struggled to keep up with assignments. This impacted her overall academic performance, but she felt embarrassed to say this to her teachers and she was constantly being given punishments. The external factor is parental involvement within the education system. The role of parents in shaping students' success cannot be emphasized enough. Parental involvement is essential for a child's education journey. However, we cannot blame parents because factors such as busy work schedules or language barriers may limit their ability to engage actively in their children's education. And any teacher will know that in today's world, these are huge issues that we deal with. Reduced parental involvement can lead to decreased academic support, motivation, and a lack of consistent communication between home and school. In fact, I recognize this quite clearly because when I first came to the UK and I very quickly became a single parent, I was working multiple jobs, but I didn't really understand the education system within the country. And in fact, until I myself became a teacher, I could not actively engage with my children's academic progress because I just did not know what to do. And I felt that the communication between home and school was quite limited. 
The third uh, external factor we would look at is one that any parent will know, technological distract distractions. The impact of digital distractions go way, way beyond the classroom. Because what happens is beyond the school hours, students are usually or often immersed in social media, online gaming, and this can divert their attention from their academic responsibilities. Speak to any parent and they will tell you this is something that a lot of them struggle with. The impact of these distractions will contribute to reduce focus on studies, disrupted sleep patterns and challenges in managing screen time, as well as huge problems within the house between parents and their children. The, uh, the Academy of Pediatrics usually um, talk about excessive screen time and correlation to poor sleep quality, as well as academic challenges. And as we try to find solution, this is one thing that we really struggle with. Let me tell you the story of Alex, who found himself really struggling to keep track of the amount of time he spent on social media and how much time he was uh, producing um, his work as well as his sleep patterns. And, there, uh, and this led to um, his academic performance really being impacted as well as disrupted sleep. The fourth and final factor is cultural and societal pressures that we're dealing with. There's a huge societal expectation and lots of cultural norms that influence education. We live in a globalized society and cultural and societal pressures will play a role in shaping students' aspirations. Expectations regarding career choices, gender roles, and societal definitions of success can impact students' academic path. We all know that we will perform better in what we enjoy, but sometimes these pressures will limit career options, discourage students from pursuing one's true passion, and hinder diversity in certain fields. I taught in a school where this was something that we constantly faced and we had a student called Amir who faced pressure from his family to pursue a specific career even if it was not aligned with his true passion. We saw Amir struggle with internal conflict and this led to potential misalignment between his academic pursuits and his personal passions. My dear friends, our educational journey is a complex one. It's shaped by both internal and external forces. By understanding and acknowledging these challenges and external factors, we're better equipped to deal with the challenges that we face and the changes within society. We can also see that education is not an island in and of itself. There are various factors such as AI and pandemics that have tested the very foundation of our modern education system, forcing us to dig deep into what education truly and sincerely means in and of itself today. So as we conclude this enlightening exploration into the challenges of modern schools and look at all the different things that they're grappling with. Remember that education is a dynamic journey faced by various factors. We've unveiled the intricate web of obstacles, both internal as well as external, that affect our education system. But our journey does not end here. In our upcoming discussion, we'll delve into a topic that has sent shockwaves through the education landscape. We will look at the issue of school closures due to burnout. It's a huge wake-up call for our educators. We'll look at some really painful real stories behind school closures and the toll that burnout takes on teachers and students. And most importantly, we'll explore strategies to reignite the passion for education.
If any of the points that we've raised in the discussion today has reverberated with you, we'd love to hear from you. So please do share our channel and also comment. Let us know which issues we can discuss more on our channel and which ones stand out the most for you. And please don't miss out on this crucial discussion that sheds light on the urgency of creating a sustainable and healthy environment for both educators and learners. Tune in for our next video and let's continue our journey towards a more empowered and resilient education system. Until we meet again, my dear friends, don't forget to show you some TLC. And thank you so much for your time today.